say, yes, I will explain. I sometimes assume you understand the message, what I just said, the story. Yeah, if you haven't heard the previous video, go shut up. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I give you a chance. Look again, but how often? These come in sequence, by the way. Yeah, they come in sequence. Yeah, I'm building up stories after story. So what does it mean, Mr. Rai Smith, so important painter? Yammering, whiny whiny like a little bitch. I don't know what to do, how to get there, how to get there. Oh, I... no, he, not... he knew how to drive there, but he didn't know what to do after he gets out of his car. And how is he going to get into that place he's never been and no one is indicating him where to go or what to do. That is precisely the big man syndrome I talked about yesterday. How's it gonna look if I'm gonna stand in line? Because I'm the big shot. But he's only the big shot because someone said so. I have no clue what relation he had there in New York. Or if at all. I have a slight information in my head that they came from some money. And that their mother, their he and the sister, just told them go into fame. Because I never knew <clears throat> from which they lived. And yeah, uh, that wasn't that simple to see from her either, but I think that's what they did. The sister went to fame, that's why she married the Zacarias, because she thought it would bring her some good. I don't know. What do we know? See, but this is what this is. Those are little sissies. They're whiny, whiny, whiny. They don't pull off anything. Because if he would be who he is, who he said he was, yeah, well, it's simple, right? Make a phone call. Maybe he intended to make a phone call and get a pass. Maybe that's what they stopped. Make a quick phone call. Somebody, can you give me a pass to get into that place? And couldn't. They don't give out anything. If he would have had a position, he could have felt secure and happy. I mean, if I am New York and I'm a famous painter, I'm joyful. I live in New York. I got my painting. Great stuff. But not him. Pretentious little shit. That's what they all are. And they're only validated within their tiny group where others, you know, have the same position and they're like balancing each other. They're the businessman with the lawyer and the doctor and the this. They're probably no doctor involved. Or business one, business the other. Yeah, or when they kick other people around. But you meet them alone, they're nothing. Okay, scroll, scroll. I was asked to talk about Rosa, my neighbor. Yeah, Rosa, then there was the Swedish one, and me. <laughs> like, they matter. And Rosa, she got her little, what's the Mercedes she drove? She was an employee, but for a long time. So she had a position which made her feel she was safe. She built her house, and then she also grabbed herself a husband. And they were from Latin. Well, disgusting. Not that yucky, but still. They grabbed themselves a... Uh, in the white piece, oh, hurts. They grabbed himself. I think they came from Latin. I don't know from which Latin. He was from Latin, but not from Mexico. Some other Latin. But I don't know. I saw them three times, and he wanted to hug me. And that was when my trio came. I don't know why I had to stop and talk with him and her. And I'm a hug. I would I would hug people maybe in Mexico if they were friends, but I told him I couldn't. He apologized and said, he said, I'm, su I'm such a hugger, right? And I totally get him. I totally get that because they're Latins. And when you talk with Latins, even if they're simple, there's something going on with hermandad. Because we're Latins. And I feel like I'm Latin too. How did he look? I can barely remember. It wasn't that clear that he was Latin. That's how he looked. No, she, yes, absolutely. Oh, she maybe looked like Olivia, the Tony Olivia, the dummy Olivia. Small, insignificant. Yes, and I was invited to her house, and we talked, and she stared at me in her kitchen table. Oh my God, you're definitely a special lady. Yeah, because I'm like so spiritual and something. Always bringing them into a different vibration, that material thing, right? But, well, soon I figured what was happening. So he did not drive a Mercedes, he had some other car. I don't know which brand, but it wasn't a Mercedes. So it was below Mercedes <laughs> in the hierarchy of the cars. And that doesn't look good, that she has a Mercedes. He doesn't wait, it doesn't matter at all. 
But it didn't look good at the moment because I figured, so she's the one who owns the house. And she said she had another one over there. But she, ugh, not that good. She would give out, yeah. No, I don't want to comment on it because it could be just a fake. But you can give me no good vibe and be fake, but you can also totally yank me out. And I don't think anybody I love can yank me out. Yeah, what was that in the beginning? Just pushing me away to repulse me. Oh, I like you? No, I never heard I like you. Oh, I want you to... I never heard that either. Yeah, I'm gonna pull you off here. Okay, all the time. Go drive. And then I repulse you. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, commercial's over. Back to Rosa and her husband. What's his name? Oh, how interesting. I remember now his name. I maybe had to disenmascarar, unmask those, the whole the relationship dynamics they had. I have to scroll back, that was right before my trailer came, and magic already happened in my life. And I had to invite, oh my god, I don't remember, but the fact is that they came to my house and it was almost like one of those magical events, she and he came, and I knew his name without and I knew stuff about him and I never had met him before or something like that I don't remember the details it was like so impressive I don't know what it was I don't know what it was I don't think it's relevant yeah if I scroll into that I remember only that the dynamic was that they wanted maybe to pretend or he wanted to pretend he looked to me like Valjean with Helga Oh yeah, I like her so much, but what really happened is that she is the one who makes the money. She is the one who owns the house and he feels inferior as a man. And on top, he has to drive that car because he can't afford another one. And she feels all safe and secure in her position. So he wasn't really there in that house. It's almost like he wasn't really living there. So why do I have to say it? I don't think it's right when, when, when she is so independent. But the man doesn't feel good. But I had thought about it years before. When you live with a partner, you can't earn the money and he nothing in general. Unless, of course, you have children and then you agree on that. But I don't think a man likes it. They must be super modern. But a Latin guy like that? He can't handle that. Yeah, it takes his manlyhood away. Yeah, because then he becomes a slave because she, of course, has to pull it out. You can't man no me puedes mangonear a me. You can man you cannot manipulate me. I'm the one who makes the money. It puts out a little of a man to attitude. And that's it. Emasculate the man. Why well, does she want him to begin with? To pretend to have some fake thing going on better than nothing. Didn't they all? All three of them. this I can't in the beginning she was so very eager to present me to her husband and actually came to my door yeah it was his name wasn't Tomas or Tomas his name was Tomas so but it was maybe just Tomas and she called him like the cariño like endearing Tomas so and that was when I did the meditations and I invited my god, I don't know what went back and forth, but I can't, I, then, I do only remember. My mom was very nice and friendly with another woman. Yeah, I'm like this, I'm super girlfriend, kind of another woman, kind of type. Yeah, I don't know, I felt like it. We women, be cool, right? Be cool together, we're sisters, but well, we don't have to meet. But I met once her in her house. And then this dumb dog she had, large dog, and it was alone, the dog, and all day long the dog was barking. And that was now finally under Matreya. I sent her an email. So do you need some help? Because your dog really, I mean, on and on, every day, all day long. Poor dog, man, outside. She never responded to it. What I feel is, I, I maybe twice I, I wrote to her. What I feel is that um, she had probably to notice that she doesn't give a shit about anything, her dog or him. Something like that. You know, why am I talking about it if there's nothing conclusive about it? Yeah, the pretentious asshole. That was Rosa. And across the street, of course, oh, I know my neighbors, I know everything. She came to my house. She was super nice, the Swedish woman. Yeah, her name was gone. Like a... 
and B, let me open it. <laughs> I'm such a girl. I like a baby boy. <laughs> Boom, MB. <laughs> Wait, 